Hey guys, Varun Marathi here and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 which I've been using as my daily driver for the last 6 months now. Uh, in the world of uh, S24 Ultras and the iPhone 15 series, I think uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 still holds it ground as one of the best foldables which is available and uh, since I've been using it for the last 6 months, I think I'm in a better position to let you know what are the positives of getting this next generation of devices which can very well be the next jump in the mobile technology world uh, this candy bar style design uh, which is extremely easy to hold in one hand and you can open it up to just enter into this host of uh, immersive uh, entertainment experience uh, this dual displays which are there in front and the back which can also be used in such a way which is very uh, unique in uh, in its own terms and uh, I believe that uh, all these experience combined is really uh, different and unique as compared to the traditional uh, kinds of devices and in this video I hope I can let you know my entire experience of using this device as my daily driver this is my personal device and uh, let's just get into the experience altogether so very first thing that i will talk about is the design of this device as you can see this is how it originally looks i have a skin on the back of my phone but this is the original design fabulous to look at this is the blue color which is which was the hero color of uh, the z fold 5 and it looks really good in the light i would say this is the gorilla glass because on the back we have the triple camera setup with the main camera being a 50 megapixel a 10 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 12 megapixel uh, telephoto camera over here at the back we have a slight hump which is not as big as the s22 series the phone is extremely premium to hold in hand uh, we have an aluminum frame across the body it looks fabulous we have a stereo speaker setup uh, with a speaker on the top we have volume rockers on the right and we have a power button which doubles as a fingerprint scanner as well on the right side and on the bottom we have the another speaker with a microphone and a usb type c we have that redesigned hinge on uh, the left side over here with the samsung name which is there uh, this time it folds completely flat and as a result the phone is much more comfortable to hold in one hand and as you can see over here it, entire phone looks absolutely perfect i would say one of the most premium devices i have seen in a very long time and yes when you hold it you can definitely feel the premiumness and uh, i would say wherever you go this is one of the show stoppers as well even you just open that phone uh, and if there is somebody sitting next to you that person definitely looks into uh, it as as foldables are still not as mainstream as uh, the normal phones are and this is how it looks the beautiful 7.6 inch display as you can see it's as big as my face more or less but and when you hold it and you are you know using it it does not feel very hefty because of the weight distribution that is why i say the design of this phone is perfect and you can just hold it with one hand and use it as your um, uh, daily driver without any issue and without any strain and you don't want to use it just hold it up and keep it uh, uh, talking about the front display it is the 6.2 inch tall display which is 21 is to 9 aspect ratio which definitely looks weird first but it's easier to use and manage you can e reach all the corners very easily and uh, you, you can see the fingerprint scanner which is placed at a very perfect location it is extremely fast with is uh, embedded in the power button faster than the in display fingerprint scanner specifically and uh, the display as you can see it's a full hd plus display but it is also 120 hertz and it gets plenty bright in all kind of situations as you can see it is extremely saturated it is also an amoled display with 120 hertz refresh rate extremely quick extremely smooth uh, to do all your basic operations and i would say 70 percent of what i do now uh, in my daily task uh, this display suffices that you can you can scroll through different information uh, through it very quickly uh, all the basic tasks of you know just looking through the shopping uh, menu the stocks options which are there all in all whatever you do in your daily life probably 70 to 80 percent of the task can be done on this display now because of the uh, the kind of edge to edge display which has been embedded in this device and it's very very responsive it looks great despite being just a full hd plus display uh, you won't be having any trouble actually uh, you know swiping and using it even in bright daylight as you can see that the phone gets plenty bright and whatever is there on the display it's easily visible 
another thing it's easy to type uh, type on this if we use the swipe keyboard uh, because of the narrow display it's very very easy to you know do that basic task of typing and even chatting and everything if you can do it is very easy to do on this particular screen rather than you know having those bigger displays which is very difficult we have a main camera a selfie camera right on the front which is a much better camera in order to take selfies and again because of the narrow aspect ratio it is very easier to hold your phone while taking them uh, this is one uh, another use case which we have that we can actually put the phone on in, in this particular mode where the hinge holds it at an angle where you can actually watch videos in this particular uh, orientation as well which is again a very good use of this front screen i would say uh, now going to the hero display of this particular phone is the inner screen 7.6 inch as soon as you open it we have a quad hd super amoled 120 hertz uh, display right inside this device and man oh man this device when you open it up this is an entirely new world websites looks crisp they so there's such a big content now which is accessible over there uh, the software is adjusted according to this foldable displays third party apps first party apps everything they look good now there have been updates to instagram and facebook as well which makes them look much better on this particular display which was not there in the previous four generations i would say even the first party apps have been optimized in a way that they make use of this entire canvas very well and one thing which this phone is a breeze now is the multitasking because it is effectively two phones side by side with the crease in the middle and as you can see you can use multiple applications in this orientation or also you can use the first half orientation and the bottom half orientation as well that can be changed from the middle and uh, no matter which app you use uh, majority of the apps can be forced open in this multitasking window as well so basically every app which is available can be used in this particular orientation and as you can see it gets pinned uh, in your uh, multitasking window as well if you are using this constantly this can be done uh, this can be done by yourself as well so you know this this device uh, basically uh, this particular display it brings in the host of new features that you can do with this particular uh, you know orientation your official mails outbox gmail everything looks so nice and it is now like a mini computer right in the pocket where you can be uh, you know completely immersed in this uh, in this particular display and do your work completely this is the inner camera it is a little blurry i think this should be only used for videos uh, but the back camera as i said the triple camera setup is extremely capable and the viewfinder because of this massive display it looks very good so whatever you are taking a photo of it looks amazing right on the display before you take the photo just because uh, you know the phone has this massive canvas when you open it and if you are even video uh, you know you're taking a video or a photo on this it will look very crisp right in the beginning in the viewfinder uh, you know this this all these things uh, make this device definitely worthy of your choice because even the first party applications now which were previously a little bit of jittery uh, now they actually are completely uh, you know oriented to this device as you can see the settings menu on the left is completely interactive uh, where all the settings options are present and the right the window opens uh, whenever you click on a particular option which gives it a very a uh, nice uh, i would say orientation to look at and uh, you can have a much uh, larger information base right there we have a battery of 4400 milliamp hours in this device which does not sound great but the kind of optimization Snap snapdragon 8 gen 2 brings in uh, this phone lasts for entire day very easily and we have a 25 watt charging also which takes uh, around one and a half hours to charge this device all in all this phone uh, i would say with the combination of uh, you know bigger inner display and a smaller display you can easily use for one entire day and uh, this is good enough i would say for all the people and the camera setup i would talk very swiftly about 50 megapixel main camera is capable of taking amazing photographs in any situation the saturation is on point uh, the dynamic uh, i would say the, the, the saturation the HDR capabilities of this device is fantastic even at night the photos comes out extremely crisp not to the level of 22 24 ultras and the iPhones but definitely this phone photography will satisfy 99.9% of the people it is also capable of taking 4k videos at 60 frames per second 
uh, even 8k in 30 but i would say 4k at 60 frame per second is good for now and uh, no matter which photo situation you are in this phone is capable of satisfying majority of the population and when you are consuming content on the inner display i would say this is how it will look on youtube if you are in your normal orientation there are black bars on top and on the bottom but when you change the orientation to landscape mode this is how it is the black bar reduces depending on the content you are viewing but i would say this is still 30 to 40 percent more immersive than the normal phones that you basically use uh, in your day-to-day -day life which are this lab type of phones and uh, this is true this phone supports hdr plus for netflix amazon prime hotstar so no matter what you want to view on this particular in a display it is not going to disappoint you the content is going to look absolutely fabulous and even with this full full screen mode uh, you know i would say for whichever video this is applicable this again will give you a very immersive uh, experience and this is something which you are not going to get in other devices because the 7.6 inch even though the aspect ratio of this particular device is little bit weird uh, when you get used to it i would say it takes uh, roughly uh, 10 days to get used to this entire uh, orientation be it on the outside or the inside but once you use it i think those big displays the big phones which are there now uh, they just you feel it very weird to hold them you just can't fathom the size of those devices because now they feel bulky to you uh, because this phone has the capacity over here uh, i have to say to you guys that this does look really different and i would appreciate the apple engineers they took the efforts in order to make software around that notch or the dynamic element which is present uh, it was not expected because i think even if they hadn't done it nobody would have given them any uh, like you know bad mouthing for the same because notch has been there for a very long time another wonderful thing which is there in the inner display i would say is the inner selfie camera which is hidden normally it as you can see the camera is behind the display and uh, for again for a layman when you are viewing your content it is not coming in the way it, it completely disappears behind whatever you are looking at and this is something which makes the experience even more beautiful and i would say this particular technology will improve over time and it's great to look at uh, all in all guys i would say this particular device is for people who want more from their devices uh, they are bored with the trajectory that normal phones are taking up and this is something which is next in line i think this is the technology that is going to take the mobile phones in the future and uh, right now we don't have many uh, mobile manufacturers who are getting into this we have a oneplus uh, open which has just come up i have yet to get my hands on it but this particular phone is leaps and bound ahead in terms of the overall ecosystem that it provides uh, you know it, it is the fifth genera generation of the device so this is definitely closer to perfect as it can get i think in the next device is going to be wider but for me uh, as of now this particular device is able to satisfy my need of a phone and a tablet combined so again i do own a tablet but i use it less now because this phone itself on the go is providing me this versatility and i would say that if there is a choice between both of these and you are and uh, you want to take a chance and you like new devices you like new technologies i would say over 20 s24 ultra and even the iphone this is the phone you can get and it is at the same price in india roughly 1.4 lakhs which is uh, neck and neck with the s24 ultra and the iphone 15 pro and pro max i would say this device any day will give you more bang for your buck uh, if you are not a camera enthusiast that is so yeah guys this was the video i hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in my next video peace